Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV SHOT Show 2024. You guys know that I'm a big whore for LMT, so here I am at the booth with my very close personal friend, Zach. We've known each other literally for years. We've got a rifle or carbine that's new to me, but I saw this, I'm like, holy shit, what is that? We're doing a video on it, even though Zach said he didn't want to do it. Zach, what do we have right here? All right, so uh, uh, we decided to do what LMT is very good at. We've got a ton of modular products that all fit together really well, and you can swap all kinds of different calibers and lengths and all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, and what I think hasn't got a lot of spotlight is our compact uh, monolithic upper receiver, right? So this is shorter than most of the offerings our customers have seen has not made it into the hands of a lot of customers, uh, mostly international and government uh, personnel. Yeah, yeah, because that, that's you guys, the defense I stuff. I know, all the contracts. You through, don't care through. about us lowly civilians. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Just follow the money, dog. Oh yeah. Keep going, sorry to interrupt you. So as with everything we do, uh, usually it originates with some form of contract, and this one in particular is an eight and a quarter inch barrel uh, in that compact receiver, and then of course in the uh, ever-loved FDE uh, that most people love. Uh, for those that are familiar, our PDW stock, which is great for anyone using body armor or someone that needs a shorter length of pull. Uh, and all that comes together in this awesome little package here, chambered in 300 blackout. See, I love the little tiny stock because it makes me feel like a giant whenever <laughs> I use it. Oh, yeah. How similar or different is this from, say, the MRP system? Uh, so it, I mean, it is the MRP system, essentially, right? It, it's part of that system. It's just... Uh, uh, different components of it that have been modified just slightly, uh, but this upper can slap onto your uh, your regular Mars. AR. Yep. Or, or yeah, of course Mars. No, we wouldn't put this. I'm going to get my Anderson arms lower and put my my LMT MRP upper on it. Zach, what exactly is the Mars L lower? I know what it is. I've got one. I love it. It's the best thing in the world. But what is it? Yeah. So. The Mars L lower uh, is uh, Mars standing for Modular Ambidextrous Rifle System. Uh, so we took uh, the controls that you're used to on your standard uh, M4, M16 rifle uh, and mirrored them directly on either side. So you've got uh, left-hand shooter, right-hand shooter, doesn't matter. You've got ambi controls, so you we're talking charging handle, selector, bolt catch and release, uh, and magazine release as well. So full suite of components, so no matter what hand you operate with, uh, you can get the job done. Speaking of, yeah, uh, how much is, this is gonna be about $9,000? Mm, mm, mm. How you're much is it? a little yeah, high, just yeah. a skosh. Uh, nope, so this is MSRP around the same price as, as our Mars Hells. Um, I've got our commercial guy standing right here that probably knows Joe, the price is a little better Joe, than how, I do. How much is it? Go ahead, you tell us, Joe. Uh, this is 20, a, I think I completely got it 2700 bucks. And what do you call Does this have a name? Are you guys, I know you do contract stuff. So yeah. in case you don't know out there with LNT, what they do is they get like New Zealand calls them or, or the Sudan or some shit. And they're like, hey, we want like this spec rifle. They build it and then they'll turn around to the commercial market and they'll call it like the New Zealand reference rifle or, uh, you know, the South Zimbabwe reference rifle or whatever. This, I'm guessing you said was uh, part of a contract, right? Yeah. Are you allowed to tell us who? I can't do that. Sorry. Are you sell? That's fine. But are you selling it as a complete rifle, as this, like on your website or something? Not as a commercial offering. Uh, honestly, feedback from this video could drive something like oh. that, right? Oh, dude. Oh. No, absolutely. Like I think this is awesome. 300 blackout, the MRP upper, which means I can change the barrel. All I got to do is like yep. pop those screws out. Not that I would in no. this, you know, because like it's so the handguard's so short, right? Little right. eight-inch handguard. So 300 blackout you know, that's probably what you're gonna stick with. But this is a neat option to kind of all the carbine bullshit you've been seeing lately. Like if you want something a little bit more grounded in the AR-15 platform, 300 blackout, but still compact, this seems like a really great option, huh? Oh, yeah. and, and for the customer that really wants to embrace the modularity, right? They're really into SBRs, 10 and a half inch barrel in this guy is gonna be perfect if they want 5.56. Five, of course, the eight inch 300 blackout is wonderful. Right, there's, there's a plethora of options. Uh, and then if you're really a, an LMT enthusiast, you can always slap I a am. longer upper on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're good to go, because you've still got a, a Marzell low receiver. That is true. No, I, I totally think that you guys should sell this exact package. I'm suggesting, strongly suggesting okay. that you do that, because I know that there are a lot of guys out there like me who are a little bit of LMT pervs 
who would love to see this. Zach, thank you so much for talking to us about this. Again, it caught my eye. I thought this was so effing cool. Thank you for letting me rip you from what you were doing to talk to me and these people out here about it. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2024 in Las Vegas.